Hello, Code Club facilitators. This is Luke Miller, and I am um, here with you from Prenda to help uh, ease the tension, ease the friction on this uh, intro level, level number two. Um, so I'm just going to walk through it in, in a couple minutes here and show you what it's supposed to look like. Um, I know for the younger kids, especially this level has been a little difficult. So let's take a minute and uh, I'll, I'll show you what it's supposed to look like, how it's supposed to work, and hopefully you can then help your kids a little bit better. So here we go. I just won my hero character and I am now going on to the intro level. In the intro level we've got four activities. Try Scratch, try Python, try HTML, and Hour of Code. You're probably familiar with Hour of Code, but Scratch, Python, and HTML may all be new to you. And those are the three that I want to <clears throat> dig into in this um, video here. So first, with Scratch, um, what you need to do and what you need to really encourage the kids to do is to read the directions here on this page. Um, what I have the kids do is go ahead and click the link, um, let the project start to open up, uh, and then meanwhile go back and begin to read the instructions. So the instructions on this say change the simple game to make it fun. In the sprite section on the bottom left click on the blue hero rectangle then go to the center and click on costumes. When you click on the cute little character you can choose a different hero character. Now do the same thing with the red villain and the green projectile. Click the green flag to play your own personal game. Cool. So um, let's break that down into the very first uh, objective. In the sprites section on the bottom left click on the blue hero rectangle. So I'm going to go over here. Project's all loaded now. You may have to click allow flash or something like that to, to get to the screen but um, you'll figure it out. So in the bottom left I've got this sprite section and there's the blue hero rectangle so I will click on that. Alright now I'm not I don't remember what to do next so I'm going to go back to this tab uh, and then jump into this sentence right here. Then go to the top center and click on costumes. Okay, let's go find that. If you're brand new to Scratch, this it's really important important to just take this step by step. Costumes. All right, there's that. And gonna go back and read the next line. Here, when you click on the cute little character, you can choose a different hero character. All right, so I need to find a cute little character. Uh, anything that looks cute around the costumes and oh that guy looks pretty cute right he's got crazy hair so I'll go ahead and click on him um, the helper text said choose costume from library that popped up when I hovered over it so that's helpful and wow now I'm in this costume library and there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of costumes that I can choose from I can find a category or a theme or a type that I like and use that or I can just scroll through until I find something so I'm going to use this convertible. I think that's pretty cool. Double click on it and wow my blue rectangle has turned to a convertible. Awesome. Um, so uh, objective number one is complete. I've done that. Let's go back to the instructions and see what's next. Now do the same thing with the red villain and the green projectile. Okay. Red villain. So remember first it said go to sprites click on the rectangle, then go to costumes, it's already clicked, click on the cute little character, and let's find something that looks like a villain. Something vilified. Uh, cheesy Puffs. Cheesy Puffs are are the definitely the villain if you're on a diet. Um, so we'll do Cheesy Puffs, and uh, next, I need to do that same workflow with the projectiles. Projectile, bottom left, sprites, costumes, and choose costume from library. And what is going to be my projectile? Scroll down just a little bit. just want to find something mildly interesting to me. Uh, nothing, nothing, nothing. No. Oh, um... Nothing yet, nothing yet. Uh, oh, this elephant is pretty cool. That will be my projectile. All right, so I've done those three things now, and that brings me to the last sentence. Click on the green flag to play your own personal game. Cool, so green flag up here. Click, and oh wow, look at that. Chief's puffs are throwing out this big elephant. 
and I am controlling the hero uh, character, the hero sprite on the left side of the screen with the up and down arrows and I am uh, avoiding the elephant. Let's see what happens, and my score is going up. Let's see what happens if I hit the elephant. Oh no, it made a funny noise and my score went down to zero. I better not let the elephant hit me, right? So avoid the elephant and get a point. All right, I think you guys get that. That is what we're asking of the kids in this. Um, honestly, it could take as little as five minutes. Um, if the kids are having fun and they're getting really into it and they're, they're like, oh, my elephant's facing the wrong direction. How do I turn that around? I want it to, to face the right direction. Whoa, what did I do there? Really screwed that up. All right, then you, know, you, can, you can let them just have as much fun as they want. Um, so that's that's that one. So then you would come verify that they've done all of that uh, And if they have you can click done and type in the secret code All right moving on try Python this one um, same thing. I'm going to click on the link let it load and um, While it's loading I'm going to go back and read the instructions Here we go. We wrote some Python code that makes a random story, but you can make it better Change the name of the character and make up your own random sentences. Uh, then click the run button at the top to see a random story. All right, so this one is intimidating for no other reason than that there are a lot of words. <laughs> it's really not that hard, and if you read all the words, you would totally understand it, but there are a lot of words, and uh, it can be intimidating just to read that much that, that looks like this. So note, first of all, that anything that's in this like reddish color um, is not code. Those are all like notes for you to read. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and read what it says up at the top of the page. Welcome to the Hello Random Story Builder for Code Club. We will help you make a few changes to this code and create your own random story. You don't need to understand all of this, just follow the instructions and if it gets messed up, close the tab and open the link again to start fresh. Nothing to fear. All right, so then there's some code. It says import random. Um, and then uh, it says, this code is an intro sentence. Change the words inside the quotes to change the sentence. All right, then it says intro equal. So I'm going to change everything in between the quotation marks. Once there was a crazy rhinoceros named Roger. Um, just for simplicity's sake, I'm going to change this to Luke. Once there was a rhinoceros named Luke. If I had a rhinoceros, that is totally what I would name him. Um, then uh, this, I'm going to read the, this next set of instructions here. This prints the first sentence. Don't change this. So what am I going to do? I'm not going to change that. <laughs> um, moving on. Now we have a loop that runs four times. Change the four to ten to make the story longer. So I'm looking here. Where is there a four? Oh, there's a four. So I'm going to delete that. Write ten, just like the instructions tell me, and that's going to make my sentence or my story longer. Um, all right, next, the computer will pick a random number between 1 and 4 that's less than 5. So this is just telling you what this line of code, rand equals random dot rand range, uh, 1 comma 5. So that's, that's all that means. And then the next comments, depending on the number, a different sentence is added to the story. You can change the sentences inside the quotes, but don't delete the quotation marks. Very important, don't let the kids delete the quotation marks. If they have, just add them back. Um, quotation marks are important in Python, so don't, don't lose those. The idea is we're not making them write Python, we just want them to see that Python looks like this and interact with it and use it to tell their own random story. So again, I'm not going to rewrite all these sentences, but I'm just going to change one word. So suddenly it started raining tacos. Um, Alright, let's change that to burritos, what I had for lunch. And everyone came outside for dinner. A pink fluffy unicorn, let's change that to, uh, I don't know Kelly, what's a, what's a good thing instead of unicorns? Um, angry squirrels. Angry, a pink fluffy angry squirrel, all right. Came streaking across the sky and the rabbit said, wow. They let out a sudden belch and everyone fell to the earth. So I'm going to change that to toot. They let out a sudden toot and everyone fell to the earth. When the tornado came, everyone was running from the library. 
All right, and then I'm gonna read the final part of the comments. You're all done. Now click the run button on the top left to see your story below. So run button top left. You see that right over here? All right, let's see what happens. Click run. And whoa, all of these sentences came up over here. Um, if you want to resize the page, you can drag that up a little bit and see everything. And then you can read your random story. We, we sometimes let the kids read these out loud to the whole class, or we read them out loud to the whole class for them. And, and it's just hilarious and funny and the kids love it. And uh, it, it really doesn't take that much to, um, to put something that, that turns out to be just hilarious into this. So for example, mine. Once there was a crazy rhinoceros named Luke, suddenly it started raining burritos and everyone came outside for dinner. A pink, fluffy, angry squirrel came streaking across the sky and the rabbits said, wow. A pink, fluffy, angry squirrel came streaking across the sky and the rabbits said, wow. When the tornado came, everyone was running from the library and so on and so on. So that is that. If they, if they did that much, then they have completed the objective for this TriPython task. So you would come over, you know, verify that they did it, that they interacted with Python, that they clicked run. If I clicked run again, it'll keep randomizing it uh, as, long as, I, as long as I keep doing that. And I would come back over here and just sign it off, which brings us to the final one I want to go over right now, which is try HTML. So I'm going to click on the link going pretty fast because I don't want to take up too much of your time. Um, I'm going to read the instructions. We made a simple website that you can change to make your own version. Look through the code and everywhere you see your turn, just follow the instructions. That reminds me, this is an amazing opportunity to really encourage the kids. Each, each of these three, after they finish this one, you should go over and you should say to them, you just made a game. You just made your first video game. That's amazing. Way to go. Or when they finish Try Python, you just made a random story generator. Holy smokes, that's amazing. You just made your own random story gener generator. Way to go. And then when they finish this one, you just made your own website. Can you believe that? You made a website. It's your very first day in Code Club. You're like 10 minutes into this, and you already made a website. That is so cool. So um, back to the instructions. Look through the code, and everywhere you see your turn, just follow the instructions. All right, so back to this tab. Now, there is HTML and there is CSS. So I'm going to start on the HTML, and it says everywhere where it says your turn, do what it says. So I'm looking through body div. This is all a lot of code. I don't really know what it means. And then, oh, your turn. Replace the URL after SRC equals to make the different pic to make a different picture appear. So where is SRC equals? Where do I see that? Uh, oh, right here. SRC equals, and then it's got a URL. It's got a web page. So um, I need to find my own picture. So I'm going to open up another tab to Google. Um, they've got Elmo on on that picture right now, and I'm going to find a picture of a banana. And I uh, just need to copy. So I'm going to right click say copy image address and that is going to save the URL of that picture and I'm going to go everywhere in between the quotation marks I'm going to delete all that and I'm going to paste that um, one that I just pulled and look there right here I've got bananas that just came up where Elmo was okay and that is a very long URL most of them are in, holy smokes most of them are not that long but that one for some reason was um, all right, so now below that, your turn. Change Elmo to your name. Well, that's pretty easy. So I'm just going to delete Elmo and write my name, and then you'll see it reflected on this website right here. That's cool. All right, another time it says, your turn. Replace cute red puppet to say who you are and what you do. Okay, um, Luke, I am, um, I'll, I'll say, uh, I helper of librarians because I help librarians run code clubs. Um, and there you go. So that's that's what, that I, I scroll down to the bottom, there's no more, so that's all I need to do on this column. This column, your turn. Type a different color instead of gray to change the background. So I, I you see where it says gray, I'm just gonna delete the word gray and write a different color. My favorite color is blue, so I'm gonna write blue. 
And there it is. It's actually Rocky Mountain Sky Blue, but I don't see that. I don't know if that's an option here. <laughs> I'm going to scroll down and uh, see it says your turn again. Change the 44 to make the words bigger or smaller. Um, so I, I don't know. Maybe um, I'm going to make it bigger. So let's do 74. Whoa. Wow. So my, my name, Luke, just got really big. In fact, I want it even bigger. I'm, I'm not an egomaniac, I promise. And I'm going to scroll down. There's no more instructions. That's it. So I have satisfied all of the your turn things and then if you you can drag this up if you want and this is a web page I just made my own web page and again the kids can go nuts with this they, they can do more than what's asked from them if they're having fun but this is the minimum requirements and it's um, really again it's not supposed to be simple it or not supposed to be difficult it's pretty simple but it is a little hard just because there's code and it's scary intimidating but um, just give it a shot, and if you mess up, just close it um, and open it again and start over, okay? If you if you totally mess up the code or if your kids totally mess up the code, just click on the link again and start over. All right, so that is a three-hour code. Um, I don't need to explain. You guys understand that, but sign that off and sign that off, and we would be done. All right? So that's the idea for the intro track. Um, please reach out to me if you have any questions or problems, but I believe in you guys, and um, you're, you're just going to do an amazing job introducing your kids to the new software. Um, all right, well, good luck, and I will talk to you all soon. Thanks.